We're back. This is P. If you're new to the channel, go ahead and subscribe now. That way you can stay up to date with all our latest unboxing and review videos. So today is December the 6th. Taco Tuesday, yay! Even though I haven't had any tacos today, but comment below if maybe you had the breakfast burrito or maybe at lunch you had a soft shell or hard shell taco. The Chalupa counts too, which is one of my favorites from Taco Bell. And also comment below your favorite sauce if you like mild, hot, spicy, extra hot, fire, Diablo, any of those. Comment below. But who knows, maybe some fajitas later, maybe some um, enchiladas, maybe the California burrito. Let's enjoy it. But enough of the Taco Tuesday. Um, we're gonna head right along into sneakers and some sneaker unboxings. We're gonna have two today in this video. You already see what they are in the title. I know what one of them is, so hopefully um, that's the first one I unbox. It is what I think it is. Both of these are from Nike and if you're new to the whole sneaker culture, language, lingo, and everything, we're talking athletic shoes, um, a lot of times basketball sneakers or endorsed sneakers from football players, or it could be training shoes for um, a sport or weightlifting or anything of that nature. So sneakers in general um, or casual sneakers and shoes is what we unbox. Um, we started this channel in 2014. So shout out to all my day one YouTube subscribers who have you been following my channel for the last few years. Definitely appreciate the love and support. Once again, if you're new, hit a notification bell. Um, it should be somewhere on your YouTube app. So that way you'll have a notification on your mobile device or whatever you're using, whether it's a tablet or a smartphone, Apple, Samsung, Motorola, whatever, LG, um, you'll have a notification whenever we upload new videos. It's one that I've been working on this fire, but it haven't been able to um, complete the upload process. But um, it's gonna be some fire, so stay tuned. Um, I think we unboxed um, three dunks and gave some reviews on those, so it's coming soon. And um, yeah, so let's talk about sneaker releases. Today, there wasn't any sneaker releases that caught my attention or I was seeking on December the 6th. But yesterday, um, the Dunk Low and Women's, the Peach and Cream, uh, released on Hibbits, like around 8 o'clock. So shout out to my friend, the Sneakerholic. Follow him, OG McGee, the Sneakerholic, on Instagram. Um, he hit me up with... Um, that right on time, right when I looked at my phone and was able to secure a pair of those. Um, and when we're talking sneaker releases, once again, it's of different brands, but usually we're looking right now at Dunks, Jordan releases, a few months ago, Yeezy releases, still looking for anything new that may release, if it's going to be um, the foam runners or slides or anything to that magnitude or restock just to throw in the stash because those shoes was fire, um, you know. So those are the most popular ones or if it's an off-white or um, by Nike or something like that. But there are other brands that we follow too, so stay tuned for those and check out some of my sneaker reviews. Uh, we also do on feet and um, just general first impressions, which we're gonna do in this video. So on this channel, you get unboxings of sneakers, apparel, apparel pickups, as far as clothing and accessories. Also, um, any hauls as far as um, clothing hauls of certain brands or from certain stores or discount stores. Electronics, fragrances, supplements, so forth and so on. So if you got free time, if you want to make some time or schedule some time, check out some of my videos, give a thumbs up. I definitely appreciate it. And share with some of your friends or whatever. All right, so let's go ahead and check out this first sneaker. 
um, which is probably the first one in the title. And it's from Nike. You got a little pull tab on the box. It's supposed to make it easier if I can get it. If not, I have to find the box cover. But we got it. Yeah, I can tell by the size of the box. It was going to be this. And this is crazy. All right. I've only saw pictures of this sneaker. I haven't saw an official unboxing or anything like that. And it's almost giving me that vibe of the plastic that used to be around the Jordan 11s at Christmas time, which this Saturday, get your reservations locked in, um, locked in for different retailers or you know, get you a plan, set the day aside. If you need to get the Jordan 11 cherries, uh, we've had the cherry lows back in 2015 or 16. Now we get the cherry high for the holiday season. So if you need them for a gift or you didn't know they was this Saturday, go ahead and get your game plan together. Hopefully you can secure a pair. Or maybe you already got them early when they had the shop drop. Comment below. I tried um, on the day they released at 4 p.m. but took an L. But anyway, keep your eyes open for those. The black taxi trails are available right now on most retailers and in stores. If you need to get those before they're gobbled up, I said gobble, Thanksgiving is over, but before they threw in the sack for the holiday season. But this is going to be the Jordan 5, We The Best, DJ Khaled collab that we've been hearing about these colors for over a year now. And this is the first general release of um, the Air Jordan 5 Retro SP Crimson Bliss. Crimson Bliss. So yeah so when we're talking to jordan 5 before we open this we're talking a popular model um uh, some some of you guys favorites it's definitely on my top three or four um i love the 11s and the fours it's tied up top but i like the fives because of the air bubble we're gonna see and some of the other things and um you know it released originally in 1990 with some of the OG colorways that I've reviewed before, the black metallic, um, the fire red, and also the grape. So yeah, Fresh Prince of Bel Air, grape, and um, some other colorways as well. So we're gonna take a look at this collaboration with DJ Khaled, representing Miami, Miami theme. Let's take a look at this box. And the clear um, cover that you get over the box. And the design, we are the best. Two Jumpmans, pink, cream into pink. Got the circle around this one, black in the background. And um, you have your content tab. I went true to size, nine and a half. And once again, I checked out with Nike. A few other retailers had these. And they retailed, I think, for $225 plus tax and shipping. And I think they're reselling for close to $300 right now. And we have some more colorways coming soon. The cream, I think it's like a purple and like a blue. So this is not on the box. It's on this clear cover, which has a little pull tab right here. Great for you collectors, you guys that got doubled up. You're gonna wear one pair like once, red carpet style, or front row at the game, court side. All right, so that's a nice touch, and that's what you want for 225. With this type of experience, black box, cream, pink, to your lavender on the Jumpman, Michael Jordan, the greatest of all time, MJ number 23. Chicago Bulls, before that, uh, UNC, North Carolina, University of North Carolina Tar Heels, championship into the draft, 1984-1985, secured the deal with Nike, link up, linked up with Tinker Hatfield to create the Air Jordan Jumpman brand, and each year, you received a different model with different OG colorways. This is going to be a new retro colorway meaning retro of the model, but a new colorway and collab for 2022. 
this month, um, this past re weekend, as a matter of fact. And um, this is the fifth installment, the fifth season that Michael Jordan played with the Chicago Bulls, uh, 1990. You see the um, Jordan Fives on the Fresh Prince theme song on the first season, iconic sneaker. Um, Michael Jordan got six championships with the Chicago Bulls, two three-peats, which means championship, 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 three seasons in a row. Retired in 93, still dropped the Jordan 9 that year with the baseball thing, came back with the Jordan 10, 11, and 12, got championships every single year um, with them, which equals a total of six, back to back, back to back, back to back. Um, Olympia. Olympic gold medalist with the Dream Team, um, slam dunk competition with the Jordan 3, 1988 from the free throw line, basically. Um, and also the MVPs, um, all-star team appearances. Retired again, came back with the Wizards. Now um, owns the Charlotte Hornets team. So yeah, a lot of attributes, a lot of um, different accolades. And we're going to take a look at this Jordan 5. Pink on the inside, gloss pink. Oh, spirit. And they have a pearl for this particular model and silhouette that matches. So go on the Nike site. Oh, they went crazy with the laces. Oh, snap. Lots and lots of laces. So we got Thanks. pre workout energy drink, black cherry vanilla, wild and watermelon, delish, strawberry, Rihanna's kiss it water, and the bang, key lime pie in the back, a fan favorite. So shout out to bang with the energy drinks. If you're under 18, check if you're pregnant, guardian, coach. If you're over 18, high blood pressure, check with your physician or any health concerns before you chug one of them. All right, so we got the Jordan 5 and the Crimson Bliss. And I must say the materials are premium. And I wish I had a Jordan 5 nearby to compare. Um, I have the Jordan 5 Green Bean get released and the 3M in green colorway. It's like an OG, but it's actually a retro for 2022. And I have the Fire Red. And I've had plenty of others. So check out my videos <laughs> and my Jordan 5 reviews. All right, so this is the Jordan 5 model. And we'll take a look at some of the key features on the outsole which is the bottom. So you got the handbone traction and this cream color, real milky cream on the bottom, almost like, uh, I don't even know, like a super light banana split. And then we have Nike in the middle in white. The upper is going to be that translucent yellow with We The Best on the part where the ball of your foot would be and the handbone traction because this is a basketball sneaker, a high top. Um, we have the Jordan Jumpman translucent on this one. Once again, this is the heel to the arch, which is flat, and to the top. Now, this model is a 1990 model, decades old. So the technology flat outsole really has that retro 90s vibe. You're gonna have the ice right here, which goes to the front. The shark teeth in gray, like with a cement speckle, gray and black. And on the medial side, the little fin right here, one shark tooth. <laughs> Michael Jordan, vicious shark, top predator on the court. Also, the GOAT, greatest of all times, in the NBA, that is. All right, so, toe box, smooth. 
All right, so this area right here with the little honeycomb um, ice, the screen, the net, and also behind the laces, the tongue, and on the medial side, it's gonna be translucent as well. So if you plan on saving these, put these in like a Ziploc shoe sack. Check out my videos on those. You can get like a three pack to preserve this ice so it don't really turn yellow unless you want it to turn that color. And of course you have the flat crimson bliss laces with the lace lock up top with Nike on it. Now on the heel, you have Nike Air and this bluish silver, like this metallic blue. Nike Air embroidered with the swoosh in the air. All right, and of course you get three laces, black, which gives it a harder nighttime vibe, I think. You have the cream. I think this is what I would go for, the cream color. Because I do want the cream DJ Khaled vibes once they release. And the gray complements the anterior, which we'll get to, and the tongue, which is 3M reflective. Now the inside is going to be super premium, quilted. And behind the tongue, well, the tongue is 3M with the black jump man. You get Nike Air on the insole in black and flip that. The paint is going to go from cream to black around the heel to the medial side. And this is the right shoe. So the left one is the same, but it has We, the best, which is DJ Khaled's Steam. DJ Khaled is known for. Uh, producing, but as far as his albums, releasing albums, it's collaborations with various artists and rap, R&B, pop, and reggae. So you get a variety, along with producing and being other guys on other guys' albums as well. Check this interview out on Drink Champs. So here's the five crimps and bliss. I suggest going true to size. You can go a half size down, but where it's premium with this quilted in interior, hopefully it don't be too snug. This is a stock lace, so you can loosen it up. But the materials are quilted on the inside. Plush leather. So true to size, maybe if you go up a half size, which I have before, just be careful because it can be some creasing in the toe box area if you plan on wearing these a lot. And the fits, black jeans or cream jeans, and you're good to go or black or cream Nike or Jordan Tech fleece. Maybe get this color um, shirt underneath. Or maybe you can find a plaid flannel with the cream black and crimson in it. That would be crazy for the fall or winter. But in the summer, you gotta get the summer fit. Nike, Jordan. Check out the Nike site. They have some markdowns now, 50 and 40% off before Christmas. Or hit up your local Marshalls, TJ Maxx or Ross. Hopefully you'll get lucky. All right, so behind the tongue, the right side has keep. And the left one has going, don't stop in the pursuit of happiness. If you believe in something positive, whether it's getting sneakers for your collection or reselling, starting a store, a boutique, franchise, online, 
or if you're an entrepreneur or anything else that's legit that you're good at, or whether it's cutting hair for the ladies hairstyling, or you want to be an engineer, IT, professional player in sports, musician, you know, inventor, go hard, keep going. It may not be an easily paved, smooth road for everyone. If you want to get into politics, be a leader or a leader of any kind, um, pursue it, go hard, learn it, practice. Even if it's landscaping or anything like that. All right, let's go. All right, so like I said, we have another sneaker for this video. So let's make some quick adjustments. Show you this one real quick. And we'll get into the next one. I like them Jordan 5s. Especially the ones that's OG style with Nike Air on the back. All right, next up to bat. It's capital P again. <laughs> but yeah, we're getting ready to get into the next package. The next unboxing. Once again, like, comment, share, subscribe. And subscribe if you haven't. All right, so this is gonna be the Air Jordan 1 Low SE. Let's see what it is. New Emerald and tax taxi white so you get not your traditional Jordan 1 low box or your dunk low box with just Nike on it with the swoosh I'm seeing a few of these as you've seen in my videos if you've been watching if not check them out I definitely appreciate it um, you're gonna get the black almost like a flat matte black with the Air Jordan wings logo and gloss and I got these in a size 10. Huh, wonder why. But this is going to be a men's 10, which would be an 11 and a half in women's. New Emerald and Taxi White. All right, so I'm going to say these retail for 110 bucks. Let's flip the lid and see what we got. Oh, SC means special edition. This is fire. I got lucky because I felt like these colors complement the DJ Khaled. We the best. Maybe even the Christmas tree in the background. Comment below if you got your Christmas tree up yet. Hopefully you do. Yeah. Man, these is fire. And I think these are still available. Some more of these. Really. Icy outsole. The Jordan 1 Low Special Edition. It's like a springtime shoe, though. Um, I went for size 10. You got the white. Of course, you got Nike right here, flat outsole. Very similar to a Dunk, which dropped the same year as the Jordan 1. Um, the dunks that everybody's getting, the dunk lows, like the Pandas, the UNC's, um, the UCLA's, all of those different ones that if, you, that you, if you've been watching my videos have saw. Now, this material is going to be premium su suede, and it's um, light emerald. The toe box area is going to be white and perforated. Um, the medial white with the gray swoosh. The heel is going to be yellow, almost like a curry color. And the tongue isn't premium or anything, it's just your plain um, um, material. I don't even know what this is. Not really a mesh or anything like that. Yeah, you have your Jumpman and the curry gold or yellow with the air stitched and embroidered. 
and you have your flat emerald laces. The interior is emerald. And the inside is emerald with a jump man on the insole. So comfort, no arch, just a flat bottom. Um, <laughs> but great for skaters. Um, if you have a skateboard and you're into skating, this is great for that with the flat outsole. And yeah. So you do get additional laces in this curry color, which I think would definitely pop. Unless you just want to keep it subtle and smooth with the emerald. Put these in, it will complement the jump man on the tongue. The flat laces. Yeah, also complement the little embroidered um, wings logo on the heel. These would have went extra crazy if this had been, or well, maybe they've already done it before, this color, the carry. But the medial side is the exact same. And I think what also is a nice touch is the gray translucent outsole. So when you're spending 110 bucks plus taxes, 116 bucks on some Jordan 1 Lowe's. And if you order these outside of Nike, you may have to pay the taxes. Well, the taxes is 116, but the shipping. So with Nike, if you're a member, the shipping is free. Um, but if it's, if these was available at Foot Locker or Champs, Finish Line, or maybe even Hibbets or DTLR, Jimmy Jazz, you would have to pay the extra shipping cost. So keep that in mind. And with any of these orders, um, if you have any issues, you can definitely contact customer service um, by chat, email, or over the phone. Get you a return label or email for a return label you can print out um, for a return or a refund. Because sometimes you may get something that looked good in a picture but doesn't isn't really justified or exactly like you thought um, once you get them in person, all right? Even if you watch a video like this, but hopefully you get a good visual or maybe the fit isn't correct or the size is off a little bit. That's why I suggest with these going true to size, which for me would have been a nine and a half, but maybe the 10 was the only thing available. Now this new butt material isn't soft, like uh, super smooth. It's almost like a raw, um, I would say it's like the layer under leather. If leather had like an edge up or was skinned, <laughs> um, it seemed like it would be the inside of leather. So maybe it's not a new buck material, but it's still nice, nice touch. And what do you wear with it? In the spring, and it's like um, around 60-ish, under 64 degrees, like between 54 and 64 degrees. You got your Nike Tech fleece in gray. All right. For the ladies, or your Jordan Tech fleece. For the ladies, if you can find this emerald color, that would go hard too. Um, but yeah, that's what you wear. White t-shirt underneath, where you got the hoodie or something like that. Um, there's other brands that you can wear as well too. Uh, they will match up, but gray, white, pretty cool for the spring. Winter isn't here yet, but right after the holiday seasons fly by, holiday tax preparation, um, along with Valentine's Day, then next thing you know, we're into March and April. And depending on where you live, it may be spring and summer like all the time, so you're good to go. But yeah, nice vibes. This is P. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. For kicks, when I do more than one sneaker, we like to do a versus battle. So, sometime, these are 225. Maybe you're going with these because they're budget friendly. And you don't like high top sneakers 
or you may feel like this is too bulky. Um, but with me, I'm going to have to go with the Jordan 5 over these. But these may match up better with grays, whites, blue jeans um, than, than these right here. So it all depends on your vibe. So if I'm giving these a 9.7 out of 10, these still being in the Jordan family, because this is a Jordan 1, this is a Jordan 5. It wouldn't be a Jordan 5 if the 1 didn't exist. Um, I'm going to have to give this colorway a 9.4. It's an SE Special Edition, so not just your typical Jordan 1 low. You get the box with the Wings logo for your collection. Um, but these have a slight edge for me. But in this versus battle, which one are you going with? The Jordan 1 low? Or the flamboyant, we the best, Jordan 5, the DJ Khaled collab. Either way, comment below. Hope you enjoy your day. Be on the lookout for more unboxings and reviews. From who? Capital P, P dot O A S T M A N. Um, check out my eBay store. Follow me on Instagram. And all that good stuff. Hit me in the DM if you're interested in copying any sneakers, electronics, or pearl, or whatever, because we keep all the fly gear and everything. Appreciate it. Peace. Billy Jean, you are not my lover.